Oh my god. What do you want to do? Oh my god. Um, not nothing. What would you like to do? Nothing, please. Yo, what is up everybody? And you join me today at the wonderful Mantis Cars just outside of Colchester. It's very, very cold, absolutely freezing, but I have today this absolutely wicked looking car behind me, the A35 AMG, finished in sun yellow at my disposal. So I thought I'd go out, take it for a rip, see what this little beast is capable of, because I've never ever driven one of these facelift ones. I have driven the previous ones and I really, really liked it. So I'm very much looking forward to driving this. Give you a quick rundown on spec of these. 302 brake horsepower, 295 foot pound of torque, top speed of 155 mile an hour. I assume that's limited. 0 to 60 time of 4.7 seconds. So we've also, just from looking on the outside, oh my God, it looks so good. I love these facelifted ones. They look like a shark, my favorite creature in the world. This one has got the aerodynamic pack on it. We've also got an AMG night pack got the um, light and sight pack, so I think we've got the glass roof and all that sort of stuff on it. We've got seat comfort pack and rear axle multi-link. So this has got a really, really good spec on this car. Um, I think it's up for about 34,995 at Mantis, but we're not here to try and sell it. We're here to go and have a great time in it. Um, we've got some massive calipers on the front just here look, with the disc. So I've got it running so it'll be warm when we go out, so we haven't got to wait for it to warm up. Um, I love the little lip, lip kits that come up that there's obviously on this car. Um, the headlights are so beautiful compared to the old ones. Really, really good looking bit of kit obviously got parking sensors all the other mercedes malarkey the wing that i told you about for part of the aerodynamic pack tinted windows the bright yellow paint got like a diffuser on the back as well it looks absolutely stunning now inside this car instantly you know you're in an amg with the light up amg foot plates down there got amg written on the wheel this real like retro modern look that mercedes go for now in their interiors is absolutely gorgeous a full digi display um, no dials at all, it's all digital that goes from one screen over to there. Um, you can talk to this car as well, you can say like, hey Mercedes or something and it should like react. Um, I'm not quite sure how that all works. I'm more here to see how it, oh, okay it did do something. Uh, no, oh my what god. What do you want to do? Oh my god. Um, not, nothing. What would you like to do? Nothing please. <laughs> and then uh, we've got, uh, so it's a beautiful looking, I love these air vents, absolutely gorgeous, the black gloss interior, it's stunning with the, with the um, aluminium type <laughs> look to it as well. Um, these seats look really, really good. I hope it's got heated seats in there because I'm going to get those straight on. So my initial impressions of the cockpit is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really, I will be straight up. <laughs> straight up with you guys like I always am. Um, I'm not the biggest Mercedes fan, like my dad's always loved his Mercedes and, and I feel like their interiors kind of let them down sometimes, but this one is nice, really, really nice. So I am gonna go out and see how my first impressions of this car are. Um, I've got a little lap I wanna do and see how we get on in it and I'm excited to show you. They're meant to be really, really cool, um, really, really fast, got the panoramic roof as well. Oh, it's nice. Seats are comfy, I've got the heated seat on because it's freezing, like I said, so uh, let's Go out and have some fun. We're in sport plus mode, obviously. Right, it is very sunny. So, 300 odd horsepower. This is really cool as well. We've got like a touch pad down here. But how do we select drive? <laughs> Where's the gear stick? What's going on? How do I, how do I do this? Like, how do I... Well, that's definitely the rev pedal. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Sorry, there's a little switch up there. Okay, understand. Okay, now we can go. Oh, he calls himself a car guy, but doesn't know how to select drive a car. He's never been in it. <laughs> so these modern modern cars, like this Mercedes, have are ram-packed with features, but I am not here to talk you through all the features. What I want to give you is a first person perspective on how it drives. Heated seats are warming my butthole up. Absolutely lovely. So that is a thumbs up from me. There's loads of stuff going on on the dashboard that I just don't understand. Um, but if you want to go, there's lots of people that have done reviews on these already. Go watch one of those that will talk you more through the specs. 
I'd just be reading off a spec sheet. Put it in the Sport Plus mode um, with the flappy paddles for the most part, but it does change gear itself still, so I don't know whether, oh my God, man, it's Range Rover, just go! This interior is a fantastically nice place to be. Um, I love the big open glass roof. Uh, the steering wheel feels great in my hand. Just one of those good sizes, thick, beautiful design as well. Absolutely lovely. And the dash is really cool as well. The big flowing center console. Um, low down torque feels great. Oh, like when you're when you're just in the in the city or in the town and you just need to pull around a car or you're just pulling out of a junction. Really, 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 it's almost perfect for this sort of situation um, because it's punchy. <laughs> so fast <laughs> low down torque feels amazing so they're a two litre turbo 302 horsepower i think so it would be that boss <laughs> we're getting some pops at the exhaust as well <laughs> oh my goodness me it feels great steering is absolutely pinpoint too i would love I can move the way. i would love to give one of these a go around a track after just this little Tucking her in there, look at that. It feels so good. It feels so good. I've managed to get it on manual only mode now, so I don't know how I did that, unless I haven't done that. What if I press the car button? Oh, okay. There's a lot going on in here for someone that, like myself, that plays around for the majority of the time with basic cars. Um, so I'm just gonna, leave that to the experts um, i'm no expert just driving around and putting my foot down here and there the car picks up so fast it is so lively and there's no turbo lag at all it feels so good the only thing is when you're at the top end of the rev range it really doesn't feel like there's much there which is why i want to get out on the dual carriageway so i can actually bring it through a gear and see how it really does feel um but it feels fantastic around town lovely very usable very usable power instead of it being absolutely chaotic it feels really good really taut really nice real nice it's a lovely place to be i really like this car black roof as well Ooh, nice right i'm gonna let that car go ahead a little bit second gear 4000 rpm really good under 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 load but like i said it, it, it's cutting out at six thousand. i don't know how it changed that unfortunately but it's like changing gear at six thousand rpm but like the low down torque is so good it's got dct gearbox in this as well so uh dual clutch transmission so the shifts are instant it's really really nice really really easy to use Really cool, really nice car. Right, I've managed to head back out to the twisties. We're not gonna have long because it hasn't got a huge amount of fuel in it. I don't want to take the Mickey, but we're just about to enter a national speed limit. Let it loose, baby. Woo! Feels good, man. It really picks up nice, it really, really does. It's not like an abusive kick of boost. It's a very punchy low end. Through the revs, it linear, the power goes up. It's, at, it's really, really nice. Right, we're in the back lanes now, so let's talk you through this. Feels light, really light on the old steering. Oh, the blow down torque, down in gear. Very lively, um, fun to play with, fun to toy with around the corners. Downshifts are fast, so you've got power when you downshift into power, into the power band. You get a pop and bang going crazy at the back. Yeah, this is wicked. Yeah, very good. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, it's nice. I feel like these are probably in that Golf R, BMW, M135 i kind of bracket of car. Um, this is the first Mercedes being completely transparent that I've got in and really like the look of the interior. And right behind a salt spreader, let's drop back a little bit. Um, uh, the interior is an absolutely beautiful place to be. 
and got honestly it's lovely so i feel if you're in that market for the golf r for that them sort of cars is definitely one to consider um, definitely go drive one but i need to drive the other cars before i tell you not to buy one of them over these but this one is up for sale 34995 at mantis cars finance is happily available here too so uh if anybody wants to uh get in touch go for a test drive and potentially buy it and uh, make sure you uh, say you saw it on my video it's great for them to know that i'm helping out and uh yeah let's get back to madness so there is the end of my journey with the a35 amg fantastic little car loved having a rip around in it i really loved the interior it was absolutely gorgeous i really enjoyed it i think it was great absolutely great i need to drive some more cars i really enjoy doing these sort of uh live action reviews on these things so if you've enjoyed it leave a like on the video for me and also please make sure you have subscribed i'll see you again in another video guys unsure what it will be just yet but hit subscribe and press the bell and uh, you'll see it when it pops up i'll see you guys later peace